Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you guys so much for coming back. And today, guys, as promised, I'm back with part two of my favorite fall fragrances. But this time, we are going to be featuring my niche edition. Okay, so if you guys are new to my channel and you have not hit that subscribe button, then definitely take the minute right now to go on and hit the subscribe button. I'll wait. And if you've been watching my videos and you still have not joined the family, then what are you waiting on? Girl, come on. Fellas, y'all go on and hit that subscribe button. While you're doing that, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads from your girl. And we're going to get straight into this list, guys. Y'all, I have, I believe, about 17 fragrances that I am going to be talking about. And I'm really going to try to make this fast. I'm going to move really quickly. I'm going to do my best. And y'all bear with me, okay? All right, guys. So I recently did my designer list. If you have not checked that video out, definitely check out that video of some of my favorite fall designer scents. And like I said, we're going to jump straight on into these niche. The first one that I want to talk about is kind of like new to me. So this will be my first time rocking it in the fall. So it's kind of like an honorable mention. But this is called The House of Ooh, and this is Almond Harmony. All right, guys. So this one here I got for my birthday in July. And I absolutely love it. It's so sweet. Look at that atomizer. It's so good. It's so sweet. So basically, there are notes of orange blossom. There's some almond. There's pedigrain, bergamot, iris, jasmine, tonka, musk, and vanilla, guys. And I definitely get the almond, the vanilla, maybe a little of the tonka. But it's so sweet and easy and smooth. It's almost reminiscent of like the that lotions from Jurgens, the almond lotion. But it's really easy and smooth and sweet. I absolutely adore it. It kind of turns a tad powdery, I guess because of the iris note, of course. But this is a very good one. So if you haven't tried the House of Ooh, definitely check out Almond Harmony. All right, so the next one, of course, is a new one for me too, but I know I already love it. I've been wearing it since the summer, guys. And this is Replicas. This is By the Fireplace. Now, I know this gets a lot of hype on YouTube and a lot of people love it. Some people think it's a little too smoky. I happen to think it's perfect, okay? This is definitely smoky. Mm. It's definitely smoky. Like the first 15 minutes, you're going to smell like kind of almost like ashes. I mean, I'm going to be honest, ashes and vanilla. But after about 15 to 20 minutes, that smokiness does dry down. And it has notes of pink pepper. There's some orange blossom, cloves, chestnut, woods, juniper, vanilla. And then you have Peru balsam and cashmerian. It dries down to like the sexiest, prettiest, most calming, comforting vanilla ever. I absolutely adore it. I'm so glad I got it. And like I said, I loved it so much. I was rocking it in the summer. I couldn't wait for the fall. So here we go. And y'all see, I've been, I've been putting a little dent into it. <laughs> But this, again, is Replica by The Fireplace. Right, next, we have an old love of mine. This is Jo Malone Mimosa and Cardamom. And guys, this is my second bottle. I absolutely love this scent. It's so freaking pretty, okay? So there's a top note of cardamom, and then in the middle notes, you're getting mimosa. And in the base, there's tonka bean. This is beautiful. Now, this is another scent that I love for just calming moments. It smells so good. My husband actually loves this on me as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And when I find scents that he loves, I do enjoy them as well. I try to wear them a little bit more. But um, this one, again, in the, in the summer is beautiful. But I like it more when it gets a little bit cooler. And for a Joe Malone scent, this lasts on me all day. Um, most of the times, my Joe Malone scents do last me. I can't even lie on them. A lot of people don't get longevity with them, but I do. And it's not a projection monster or anything like that, the CIs and all of that. But it is long-lasting on me. It's sweet and it's common and it's spicy and it's sweet. I love it. Very beautiful scent. Again, Mimosa and Cardamom by Joe Malone. All right, guys. This one is totally new to my collection. I've worn it a few times um, from samples because I actually had two samples of this. And this is the BDK Rouge Smoking. Now, this one, for me... Smells similar to my Molecule 01, but there is some bergamot in there. So there's cherry accord, um, pink berries. There's vanilla again, heliotrope, and broxen. And I think it's saying broxen, tonka bean, and then there's musk. So this one to me reminds me of a spicy cherry scent. It's kind of, it's some musk, of course. It's musk, it's vanilla. 
a little bit of smoke, but not really. Like, I don't get, like, the smoking part, like, rude smoking. I don't know what the smoking part meant, <laughs> but I don't get much, like, smokiness. I do get a little bit of spiciness with the cherry. And it's sweet, but not too sweet on my skin. I don't get a lot of sweetness. Some people say it's really sweet on them. I don't get that, but I do get like this lovely original scent where the, the there's a spiciness, there's some cherry, and then that musk. I don't know what it does, but it does like that strange molecule thing with me. And I absolutely love this scent. And again, this is BDK Rouge Smoking. Alrighty, guys. And of course, Killian had to be on here. So this is my Killian Woman in Gold. And guys, this scent features bergamot, there's mandarin, orange, aldehydes. Um, there's some rose, vanilla, tonka, and patchouli. And y'all, this is pure luxury, okay? This is a luxurious scent for me. I remember smelling this for the first time and falling head over heels. I was like, I got to get this scent. And I went on that Killian website and I saw the price and I was like, <laughs> I'm not ready. I wasn't ready. This is the first Killian scent that I actually like fell in love with and was wanting. Okay. This is the first time I, I was ever introduced to Killian and it was this scent and I fell in love and I finally have it in my collection. I had it in the travel spray and I still do have the travel spray of it, but I actually went on and got the full bottle because I was debating between this and getting a full bottle of love. Don't be shy. And I ended up opting out to go and get this one because I have to be honest with myself. Even though I had travel sprays on all the other ones and I had the full bottle of Good Girl Gone Bad, I just had to have this one. This is good, guys. This is kind of sweet, but there's a floral powdery note that comes with it. It's not like powdery, like baby powder, but there is some powdery notes in here and it's sweet as well. Very classy to me. I love it. This is a classy woman in gold. Guys. And this is one that I recently did a full review on my channel, so I'm not going to talk about it long, but this is called Deluxe from Tiziana Terenzi. And guys, this makes me just, my mouth drool, okay? It's very reminiscent of Intense Cafe by Montal, which is my love. This is, mm, this is honey, and you can immediately smell the honey. There's honey, there's rose, there's coffee notes, there's some musk and vanilla. Iris and cedar, it smells so freaking mouthwatering. This is sexy. This is get your mind right. Like if you were going out to a, just say Corona wasn't around and you were going out to like a jazz club or something like that. This is something that I would definitely put on and just feel sexy and confident. And my husband loves this one as well. And I think this is unisex, of course, so a man or a woman can wear this. And I think either one, like if you wear this one, either one will be just, just leaving this aroma in the air that you like yeah 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 i want her i want him very good one check out my review if you have not and this again is deluxe by tiziana terenzi Alrighty, guys and this one here is my beloved house of siage and this is passion de l'amour all right y'all the bottle is bomb of course but this one here it's saffron. There's some raspberry notes, caramel, oud, and bergamot. Y'all, this is citrusy. I think this was supposed to be like a for tropical nights, like sexy tropical nights. I don't get sexy tropical nights. I get the fall. I get the oud. I get the raspberry, the saffron. I get all of the sweetness and goodness in this. This is one that it took a while for it to really grow on me like I wanted it to. But once it did, I was hooked and I love the smell. And I just recently smelled um, Bewitching Yasmin from Penhaligans, and they are so similar to me. And I was thinking of Blind by that one, and I'm so glad I did one. Shout out to you, uh, uh, Nika, because she sent it to me to try, and they smell so similar. So I'm glad I didn't blind buy it, but I love that scent too as well. So if you don't have this one and you're interested in something like that, check out that one. And again, um, this is the House of Siach. Passion de l'amour. All right, guys. And I had to come bring in my girl. This is Fragrance Dubois. This is um, New York Fifth Avenue. And this is Bay. Again, a recommendation of 
my girl here, Baby Girl Witch. She recommended this fragrance on her channel. I blind bought it and I absolutely fell in love. And the more and more I wear it, the more, more and more I um, actually love this scent. It's very sweet, it's woody, it's spicy. It has notes of bergamot, rose, caramel, violet, vanilla, um, musk, and woods. This is like a balanced fragrance. It's very luxurious to me. It's just elegant and refined. I love it. And I'm going to get so much wear out of it in the cool weather, guys. Like, this is my classy, you know, big girl scent. Like, I just want to, I want to smell really put together. I would throw this on. Okay. And next we have <sighs> Creed. This is Royal Princess Ooh, Guys, y'all already know this is like my... I consider it like a unisex scent. It's a feminine scent. It's, it's marketed to women, but I just feel like it could be unisex. This is very, very powerful. Sexy. This smells like a sexy ass man with some cologne. This is the same vibes Twilly gives me. It's something about this scent that just drives me freaking crazy. I, I swear I'm smelling it now and I'm going crazy. This is bergamot. There's some rose, violet, jasmine, vanilla, absolute, patchouli, iris, and then there's some agarwood which is oud, of course. It smells so freaking badass, okay? When I tell you, um, Brittany spoke on this about this, bit, and I've had this for a while, but when she said RBE, like rich bitch energy, <laughs> I got it. Like, this is a badass. This is a leather jacket. This is some, you know, fitted jeans. Oh, it's the, the boots. I mean, the whole vibe, like just black lips, <laughs> bum ass mascara you just badass okay this is that scent let me spray it one more time my scent of the day it, it just doesn't convince me let me get the girls okay like this is bad okay y'all need to get this in your life and for the people who don't like it ugh, i'm sorry but this one here mm, the vibe the vibe this one here i'm feeling it power bass moving on all right, guys, and another scent by Fragrance Dubois that I had to put on my list is the Orange Intense. Okay, this is the Oud Orange Intense, and this smells so good, y'all. It's warm must. There's some comforting, indulgent Ooh, notes that's going on. It's energetic. It's like everything. There's coconut. There's fruits. There's vanilla bourbon in the heart, and then there's Oud in the base. Bum. That's all I can say. Bum. If you can't get this one, get the Hermes Elixir. I'm telling you they're similar, but this one here is a more refined, just smoother version. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. It had me to sell my Elixir. So, you know, and I love Hermes and I sold that for this. So, yeah. I just didn't need them both, but this one here is killing it, guys. This is so spicy and sexy, but comforting and just delicious. So fall appropriate. Moving on, another love of mine that I recently purchased. Okay, y'all already know how I'm on this Nashani train right now. And this is 100 Solid Ways. Oh my God. So this is Mandarin Orange. This is tuberose, peach, jasmine, vanilla, and sandalwood. It's so sexy. Y'all, this is sweet vanilla sexiness. This is just, you can smell, like, do I smell peach? A part of me wants to say I smell the peach. I smell a little bit of the um, wood and the citrus is the tuber. Like, I can smell it all. But at the same time, it's blended so beautifully that you just, I'm telling you, this lasts forever on my skin. It smells so damn good. This is so sexy, so, this is like a man eater for me. This is good. This is a hundred silent ways. Gotta have it on my fall list. I'm so glad I got this scent, y'all. All right, guys. And the next one that I love, y'all already know. This is Byron's Perfume, The Chronic. You knew it was on here. Oh, my God. This is like a signature for me. This is pepper. This is cinnamon. There's amber, leather, patchouli, sandalwood, and musk. And I could put this on every day and I'm good. I'm serious. Like, I love it that much. Like, this could be the scent that if I want to just spritz something on and feel really beautiful, clean, confident, sexy, spicy, sweet, this is it. This is it. It's just a perfect year-round scent for me. 
and I am literally obsessed. And again, this is The Chronic by Byron Possum. <sighs> Alrighty, keeping it with the Nashani. Y'all already know Nashani. Ani is on here. Y'all already know what I feel about this scent. Y'all already know. This is ginger and pink pepper and there's some green notes and musk and sandalwood. But the player, the main player, is me. It's the vanilla, okay? So you picture spraying this on. You're going to get some green notes. You're going to get some spicy ginger. And, and you're going to get that pepper. You're getting all of those notes. They're like in the front seat. And then it's like about 15, 20 minutes later, the vanilla, and I mean creamy vanilla, comes in. And it's basically telling those other notes, get your ass in the back seat. I'm driving. <laughs> That's what you're going to get with honey because... Those notes don't fully go away, but they definitely have to take a back seat to this creamy ass vanilla that's in here. It smells so damn delicious. The aroma in the air will knock you out. It will have you just sniffing and smelling, wanting to know who the hell got this on. Where is that coming from? This is like the most unique vanilla I've ever put my nose to. And that's just me, you know, my thoughts, my opinions. And I am in love with this. And everybody who wears this and who smells this on me are in love with it as well. Literally, it smells like a damn vanilla spicy cake that's just lingering everywhere. <sighs> this gives me feelings, okay? It gives me feelings. Of course, Nashani Ani, of course, is on the list. And we got my old baby, my old love. This is Baccarat Rouge 540. There's so many imitators, but this is the originator, baby, okay? This is the one that shuts them all down. Love it or hate it, whatever you feel, overhyped, this is good, okay? And it lasts forever on my skin. There's some jasmine, there's saffron, you have amberwood, you have resin, fur resin to be exact, and then you have cedar. And what I get, oh my God, I get like this burnt sugar deliciousness. And it's very resinous. It's beautiful. This is so beautiful. And you can mix this with so many other scents to create something else. I absolutely love this scent. I am so in awe. I actually have the body oil and cream as well. And some days I just get out the shower and spray the body oil and put on another scent on top of the body oil. And I smell like pure heaven. This is a great one, guys. Definitely check it out if you can because... Like I said, so many people are trying to copy this scent, but they're not going to get it right. They're just, they just can't. So they can't. <laughs> and this is the OG player on YouTube. This is Baccarat Rouge 540. Alrighty. And another one that is new to my collection. Okay, and this is the reason why I did not get Love Don't Be Shy initially, which I still plan on getting. Um, This is Roja Parfums, and this is Reckless. I've done a full review on this one as well, guys. As, along with the Ani, if you're interested in seeing it. And this is gorgeous, classy gorgeousness. This is bergamot. There's some citrus notes. All the hides, jasmine, rose, peach. You got cinnamon, tonka bean, clove, and leather. Oh my gosh, this smells so damn sexy and sweet and floral. And just, this is what I call the refined love. Don't be shy. This is everything you want in a fragrance. I get about six to eight hours with this scent. Um, definitely, I would reserve this for when I'm doing something more in the intimate settings because I just like the vibe it gives me. Um, definitely can wear it. I think you can wear it anywhere, really. It's nothing. This is not just a special occasion type fragrance for me. Not at all. I don't do special occasion fragrances because every day that I'm alive is a special occasion, in my opinion, because y'all see what's going on. But this one here, I would reserve for intimate settings because the projection and sillage is there, but it's only there for a couple of hours with heavy spraying. Um, so it's definitely not as deep and as thick and as, you know, sweet as Love Don't Be Shy. It's like I said, it's a toned down, more floral refined version of it, but it's classy and it's beautiful and I absolutely love it. And look, she's getting, she's getting a little wear, honey, okay? So, again, this is Roja Reckless. If you have not put your nose on it, definitely give it a try. I think you, if you smell love, don't be shy. I think you will be shocked at how similar they are, but then how they kind of depart. Again, Roja um, by Reckless. Uh, Reckless by Roja. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. 
All right, guys, and another scent that I am absolutely feeling like, when I'm saying feeling, this is Joe Malone, Poppy, and Barley. Y'all, it's Poppy, there's Barley, and then there's Black Currant, and I just get high. I think, I don't know if I'm high from the fumes or the smells of these perfumes. I am in love. This is so dang on beautiful, guys. This is so perfect for the fall. It's it's a this is a signature for me, okay? I'm just gonna be honest. I don't wear this year round. <laughs> this is gorgeous to me. It's so sweet. It's almost like you tried to have a little bit of nature, but this is just a sweet, almost sandalwood type fragrance. And I'm not a big sandalwood note girl, but this is classy. This is really sweet, classy fragrance. I think it would just be perfect for the fall. I am in love. And it kind of reminds me of, if I can think, oh yeah, it reminds me of, and I just smelled it and wanted it. Oh, the Gris Chanel. Gris Chanel from BDK. They smell almost identical on my skin, okay? And I'm glad I didn't purchase that because I have this one. And I was like, oh, my God, they smell so similar. But this is gorgeous. This is so feminine and classy and beautiful. Oh, Joe Malone did that one. The last one I saved is new to my collection. But, guys, this is fall wrapped up in a bottle, tucked in. Like, this is it. This is the one. This is initial side effects. Oh, my God. Y'all, this is tobacco, this is vanilla, this is rum, this is cinnamon. Oh, I just smelled something. What did I smell? It went away. Y'all, I just I just figured out what it smells similar to, and I Y'all, this is a smoky vanilla with some spices and rum. It's almost like you you at a, a, a hookah bar, and I don't know what that is. Like I don't I don't do all of that. But y'all, it's like you smoking a sexy ass Cuban cigar, and you're drinking some liquor, and you have on vanilla fragrances, and then some. Of the <sighs> all I know is I wore this. Late one night, I took a shower. I wore it to bed because I was trying to get a feel for it. And I hopped up that morning. I washed my face. I brushed my teeth. Did my hair and all my makeup. And I didn't. I just went straight on out because I had to run out to the supermarket. And then I ended up stopping by my sister's house. And I hugged her. And my sister was like, God damn, girl, you smell good. And I was like, I didn't even know what I had on because I had jumped up. And I didn't, you know, take a shower. I still had it in my skin. My clothes were changed and everything. It was like in my skin. And I was like, what did I have on? And girl, I did this here and smelled them in my, my bosoms and baby side effects was in there. And I didn't even realize because I didn't even throw nothing on. And it was still side effects from the night before. And she was like, damn, girl, you smell good. And I was trying to figure it out, honey, it was this. This is, don't it don't play, okay? This one didn't come to play. It smells so freaking delicious. <sighs> Thank you, Abby. Thank you, Abby. Okay, that's all I can say. Thank you. Again, this is side effects. This is this one here could be, of course, it's unisex, I believe. It may be unisex, but it's so we almost cussed. It's so good. Okay, that's all I can say. Sexy. This is date night, sexy, kill them. This is put on your freakum dress, okay? Change the game. I'm telling you, sexy. All right, guys, that's it for me. I said I was going to behave and I tried my best. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any of these fragrances, please let me know how you feel about them. If Also, if you don't have any of these and you have some great fall niche or designer scents that you want to talk about below in the comments, definitely tell me what you're going to be rocking for the fall. I would love to hear from you guys. Also, again, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. If you like this video, definitely give me a like right now. Uh, it helps my channel grow. It helps to get it pumped out there. So other people that enjoy my videos or people who have never even seen me may look on there and be like, let me check out old girl, okay? And that helps my channel grow. So I appreciate all of you guys, all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you deciding to come hang out with little old me. I appreciate it. And until the next time, guys, y'all be safe, be blessed. Ladies, keep on smelling good. And fellas. 
And I will see you all on the next one. Mwah. Love you.